Uh, it's already 2 a.m. and I have to sleep. Two hours and I'm easy now. I'm going to drink it with my man, but I just got home from Batangas and got it. Put in the boat. I'll sleep first and then Samanya or my man, I'm going to drink it. Through one casilla, but. Hi guys, it's 2 p.m. and uh, we better get going because we have training at 4 p.m. So I'm gonna work on their shooting, their uh, perimeter moves, their movements, their finishing moves. And every time we train, I always talk to them so they're at least ready sila mentally. I know they're ready physically, but it's hard because uh, along the way, they're tired and they're slowing down. Slow down sila. So before we start, I always talk to them so they know what they're doing in the training and what they need to do in class and effort so they can do it for themselves so they can may sa may improvement na win. Again, this is gonna be the last three months of push. So, kailangan maging seryoso sa ensayo. Konting tiis lang for them. Pero, if uh, they can put extra effort and sacrifice every day, I think they will make it. We have to go. So, tignan natin kung ano kinagawa nila sa baba. Hi, Seth. Kumain sila. Kumain na sila? Kumakain pa lang. Sino sila? Christian? Sila, oh sila lahat. Gerard? Ah. Eh, hindi to siya. So, yun. Kumakain na pala sila and nandito si Jolo tulog. So, after they eat, kausapin ko sila and then before kami mag-train, yun nga sabi sa inyo, we have to talk para men mentally ready sila and it's very important. So guys, my advice kapag magte-train kayo, especially uh, kapag syempre wala kayo sa condition or pagod kayo, is to be able to remind yourself and uh, sabihin mo sarili mo kung anong mga effort and why do you have to do this para mas maging effective and mas maging efficient ka when you train. So it's very important na ready ka mentally, not only physically because it's it's easier to be ready physically, pero once we get tired, doon nag-uumpisa yung we slow down and we, f we slowly forget kung anong dapat natin gawin. So, yes, hintayin ko sila and mamaya tayo magkita doon tayo sa training. So, I'll see you again guys. So, wala si Coach Mav, pero may assignment siyang binigay para sa atin. 200 made shots, 3 uh, point, lahat quick pull up. Tapos, uh, i-execute na lang natin itong Mavis bago siya sumunod. Okay. Uh, Alright, so uh, kakadating ko lang dito and nakakatuwa kasi pagdating ko dito, almost patapos na sila sa 200 made shots each uh, si Joshua na lang si Gerard pero patapos na rin sila and the good thing about this is unti na tila na adopt yung quick pull up which is very important kasi in this last 3 months uh, they should be really effective and efficient every time they play so um, maximizing the training would um, require extra effort and uh, extra speed every time we train so kung gusto talaga nila mag improve and ma develop yung game na kailangan nila makuha within 3 months we have to uh, put effort in every shot that they take which is ito nga si Gerard ngayon na shooting so uh, it's very good to see them improve uh, especially kahit onting speed na daragdag each day it's very important I'm not uh, asking them to be this good today and tomorrow would jump na sobrang layo no I'm just asking them to put more effort uh, add a little bit of speed Kahit sobrang konting improvement each day, that would be a very good ingredient for our uh, success three months from now. Pero, uh, yes, uh, this is gonna be a real, little tough for us. So, yes, um, mag-start namin a while and tapusin ko lang to. So, let's go. Okay, let's pray first. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. Again, we'll just give our best and yun lang po, please guide us along this training and sa mga susunod namin na training pero we still, we're very blessed, we focused kung ano meron kami ngayon. This court, this opportunity and hindi namin sasangin yun. 
Lord, uh, please guide us along the way and we'll do everything for you, for family, for friends, and for your needs. In Jesus' name, pray. Yeah. Uh, before we start, makinig ka lang muna, before we start. The day that I talked to you about you have three months left is one week ago. That means you already have, you already have <clears throat> past seven days or more than seven days. You only have 80 plus days as of now. And you have to be really alarmed na konti na lang yung oras mo and you really have to be prepared before that day comes. Nakakaintindihan ba? Nakakaintindihan ba tayo? And you really have to take every opportunity, you have to do everything that you can give every single day. Na after this training, pagod ka. Pag uwi mo, magre-relax ka. Hindi mo na mamamalayan 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock na. Late ka matutulog, bukas pag ginising kita, mag ka, of course. And then, after mo mag tomorrow, hindi mo ulit mamamalayan, hindi ka makapagpahinga, mag ulit tayo ng hapon. Ang kasi hindi mo na malayan after 3 days, ang hina na ng katawan mo. Bagsak na katawan mo. I'm just trying to prepare you, not only for this training, but for tomorrow's training, for the training after tomorrow. Training after 3 days. Kasi baka akala mo, kaya mo pa ngayon. Tomorrow, akala mo kaya mo pa. Pag hindi mo iningatan yung, yung katawan mo, bibigay yan. Pag yan bumigay, mas mahirap from recover. Hindi tayo magiging consistent. Kaya all I'm asking from you right now is, after this training, take a good rest, ingatan mo katawan mo, make sure you have enough rest, and be prepared for the next training. Magkakatilihan tayo? Do you understand me? I told you, I won't see the effort, not when we train. It's easy to go all out when we train because I'm there. After the training, kapag nandu ka sa kwarto, wala ako, dun ko gusto makita yung effort mo. Paano ka magpahinga, paano ka kumain, paano ka magprepare. Okay, ngayon. One last thing before we start. Mamaya, matatapos dito, tayo dito 8 o'clock. Pagtapos sa pagtapos ng training dito, pag uwi na pag uwi, I'm gonna get your phones. Okay, kahit hindi kayo makakatulog na 9 o'clock. Kumain kayo, bumalik kayo agad, and then you have to sleep right away. Nakakaintindihan tayo? And I want you to move fast. Move fast. We don't have enough time. Every single second counts. Every, every minute counts. Whether you're inside the court, you're outside of the court, you're inside the training, you're outside of the training, everything counts. And I want you to think fast. I want you to move fast. Nakakaintindihan tayo? Give me your phones. After the training, pag uwi doon, give me your phones. After give me your phones, kumain kay dinner, and then you go back, and then you take a good rest. We'll start tomorrow, 5 a.m. Get me? Let's start. Today's just a warm up. Three mates, drop, one step, pull up. Three mates right, three mates left, and then we go to the next drill. Five drills, warm up, before tayo pumunta sa totoong inside natin. Let's go. Same move, first step, quick pull up at this time between the legs, drop, pull up, let's go. Between the legs, attack, we step back, and then we pull up. Ready? about working with the angles of your attack. Ulit-ulit naman ako eh. Angle of your attack. If you attack here, paulit-ulit ako, which is what you are doing, Jolo and you, Gerard. Dito ka uma-attack, going to the side. Pag nag-step back ka, you will not get the space that you need. The angle of attack should be here. And then from here, this is the time to step back. Paulit-ulit na naman ako eh. Ay, gano mo ma-improve yung speed mo? Kapag mali yung angle of attack mo, hindi mo ma-maximize yung galaw. Kahit gano ka kabilis, hindi ka makaka-create ng separation. It's because mali yung angulo eh. Correct the angle. Pag na-correct mo yung angle with the proper speed, mas malaking separation. You get me? Work on the angle and then create more space. Add more speed. Let's go. Relax, between cross, step, step, cross. We pull up here. Cross, same move, attack. 
Cross, cross, attack. Defeat, attack here. And then step back. We'll do it here, cross jab, attack, and then want you to finish. But finish with off leg. Cross jab, finish, off leg. Just make three, and then from there, paralawa ko natin. Okay, this is the footwork. This is the main footwork, cross jab. And then after that, second footwork, dito pa rin manggagaling, pero taragdagan natin. Unti-unti. Kakatindihan tayo. And I want it quick, as fast as you can. Ready? Is the move. Same cross jab step through. It's and finish with the same finishing move. Same move. Cross jab between cross. Cross jab, I want this one. Cross jab, get me same move, cross jab. But after the cross jab, cross jab, spin. Get me, cross jab, spin. So it's gonna be fast, look at the footwork. Cross jab. Cross jab. Get me. Iwasan nyo lang yung lifting. If this, hindi nyo mas spin ka agad, you're gonna lift the ball. It's gonna be a violation. I want this quick. Cross jab. You get me? Cross jab now. Cross jab around the back. One, two. It's the same. Ready? Cross jab. One. And one. And one. Cross jab behind, cross jab behind, pause. You get me? Again. Cross jab behind, pause, spin, cross, spin, attack. Okay, cross jab behind, pause. Okay. Stop. 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 
with you. I don't care whatever excuse you have. I don't care. Whether hirap na hirap ka, I don't care. Pag kinorek kita, ibig sabihin, I saw something that you have to change or you have to be able to improve. Pero kung sasagutin mo ko ng ganon, Gerard, you will never improve. Kasi lagi ka may paniniwala na tama ka. You have to be able to accept that what you did was wrong. Dahil kung every time I make mistakes and uh, hindi ko pwedeng aminin and lagi ako may paniniwala na tama yung ginawa ko, how can I improve? That's what's happening to you. Every time nahirapan ko or napapagalita ka, pinagsasabihan ka, lagi ka merong perspective in your mind na ikaw yung tama. Whether may masakit sa kamay mo or hindi mo kaya gawin. Why don't you just do it? Stop making excuses! Go! I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how good you are, how skilled you are, how tall you are, how strong you are, I don't care. You came into a place where you have to have heart. 
where you have to have the passion, the drive to succeed, to excel every single day. Baka nakakalimutan mo na yung sinabi ko sa'yo last week. Your dreams don't care. Your dreams don't care if nahihirapan ka. Your dreams don't care if you are sick. Your dreams don't care if you are weak, if you are strong, if may enough kang tulog or wala. Your dreams don't care if you have to work at 1 a.m. or if you have to work at 5 p.m. Your dreams don't. Why do you embrace your weakness so much? Why do you embrace your weakness to the point that you will make it as an excuse for you to slow down? Where's the heart in there? Your dreams don't care if nahihirapan ka or hindi. If puyat ka or hindi, may sakit ka or wala, nasa ospital ka o nasa bahay ka. It doesn't care. If you cannot give the requirements that it needs, you will never get your dreams. Naintindihan niyo ba ako? Walang pakialam ako yung pangarap mo sa, nang sa nangyayari sa'yo, Gerard. Sa hirap na nararamdaman mo, wala siyang pake. Dahil kahit anong sabihin mo, pag hindi mo yung nagawa or hindi ka nakapagbigay ng effort, sacrifices to learn, you will never get what you want. It doesn't work this way. Pag nahirapan ka, bababaan niya yung requirements. Pag nahirapan ka, dadalian niya yung, yung dadaanan mo. Pag nahirapan mo, hindi ka hindi mo pwede sabihin, puyat ako, pwede mang tomorrow na lang. It doesn't work that way. If nagpuyat ka, it's because of you. If mahina ka ngayon, it's because of you. If meron ka sakit, it's because of you. If hindi ka naka-rest ng maayos, it's because of you. If hindi mo siya nagawa after a week, hindi mo nararamdaman yung improvement, it's because of you. And at the end of the year, pag hindi mo nakuha gusto mo, it's because of you. Pumunta ka sa isang lugar na kailangan mo ng puso para manalo ka. Naintindihan niyo ako? Do you understand me? Doon ka pumunta. Yung lugar na pinuntahan mo, yun yung pangarap mo, yun yung pinili mong daanan. And now, you are starting to get tired. Now, you're starting to get hurt. And I'm telling you, I'm gonna make you quit. I'm gonna make it hard for you every day. Not physically, but mentally and emotionally. Pag namura kita and bumigay ka, it's because of you. It's not because of me. It's because you're too soft. You have to be able to endure the pain. Kailangan mong endure pain physically, mentally, and emotionally. And you have to have the drive, the heart to do that. Nagkakaintindihan tayo? Uulitin ko. Your dreams don't care. Because when it gives its requirements, susunod ka or hindi, yun lang yung usapan. And that's what I want you to understand. And that's what most people don't understand. They thought that it's okay to rest kapag napuyat sila. It's because that's what their body needs. But successful people don't do that. They do what they have to do regardless of the situation, regardless of what they feel, regardless if may sakit sila or malakas sila, or regardless what's happening around them. That's what they do. They don't depend on situations. They depend on the will of their heart. I want to end that training with that line. You depend with the will of your heart. Every single day. It's great. Lord, please guide us. Always. Kasi habang tumatagal, pahirap na pahirap. And we have to be able to endure everything. The pain, the sacrifices, the effort. All of the hate. All the things that we are feeling emotionally, mentally, and physically. Please help these kids. For sometimes, they still forget what they have to do. They still forget what they need. They still forget the things that they have to sacrifice. And sometimes, they still make excuses. Lord, I still thank you for everything that we have right now. We'll just keep on working. In Jesus' name, pray. Listen. I'm not man. 
Ulitin ko. After this training, we're friends. After this training, everything's done. Pero pag pumasok tayo sa ensayo, gusto ko ito tandaan mo. Hindi ako yung mav na kaibigan mo. Naintindihan mo ko? If I have to shout on you, if I have to say bad words, hindi, hindi para saktan ka, para magising ka. I, I will do that. Naintindihan niyo ako? Sure. After this, everything will change. We can go home, we can smile, we can be happy, we're friends. Pero uulitin ko sa'yo, pag pumasok ka sa ensayo ko, hindi ako yung mav na kaibigan mo. Naintindihan mo ba? Good job. Good job.